Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to another video going over Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. They're now confirmed, yes, confirmed with an exclamation mark, 100% the new game is coming to the Nintendo Switch. The first Pokemon games on the Nintendo Switch. Now in last night's video I did do kind of a reaction to the trailer but it was like 2, 3, 4 in the morning for me because I'm in the UK. So I was one very very tired boy. But in today's video we're going to be breaking down the trailer. I've seen the trailer quite a few times after last night and uh, I've seen some things that you guys may have missed you know dissecting this trailer a little bit. That's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be breaking down the trailer and hopefully show you guys something that you may have missed even though I'm sure you guys have watched this trailer many many a times. But of course if you guys are excited for the video please remember to leave a like down below. Really the video channel all that good stuff without further ado guys let's get into it and i really hope that you guys enjoy okay so starting things off with the trailer not too much information to show it's just some dude on pokemon go um you know that's all it is i like the fact that these it kind of merges the, the games obviously he's just playing pokemon go and then pikachu's 3d model like runs up and he's like hey follow me i'm gonna show you something pretty cool and then he just run after him and then he jumps on the tv and then that's when the pokemon game appears which is really cool there's nothing really to speculate on right here he's just some dude he's not a great level 22 i mean it's been out for nearly two years but he should be a little bit higher than that uh he's obviously got pikachu as his buddy just some canto pokemon there nothing too interesting and obviously he runs after pikachu pikachu's like yeah this way bruh. i'm gonna take you to my tv and then that then they jump in and then boom here we go so this is obviously um when i guess you choose your starter pokemon pikachu obviously looking super happy with you um which i don't know i can't remember in the yellow games was pikachu happy i think pikachu was a little bit annoyed i don't know because obviously that took off the anime quite a lot but pikachu looks pretty happy here but at first glance it's obviously very very cartoony um but that's fine i mean they are trying to broadcast their horizon trying to get more kids involved with pokemon so this is definitely the way the right way to go around it and they already know that people like me who are long-term pokemon fans are going to buy it so no wonder they're trying to kind of showcase it more to the younger audience but this is the best i've ever seen pikachu look at a pokemon game to be fair um and i th i still think it looks incredible but obviously this is in oak's lab oak is in these games i did make a couple of videos that might be like hey oak may have passed away and then blue and red could be like you know the new dudes in town but you know blue could be the the professor and stuff like that but that doesn't seem to be the case um so i don't know if this is set in the future i don't know if this is red or what because blue obviously isn't in the game it looks like greens in the game so it can't really be red and blue unless they're just doing something completely different but that means that we're a red and blue at you know are they older because obviously in Ultra and Ultra moon they were older but does this take place before or after Ultra moon or is it in a completely different universe entirely we really don't know blue might not even exist in this universe we really really don't know uh red might not even exist we we have no idea but obviously that's um that's you choosing your star pokemon and then this is the bit where i think this is just route one uh but look how nice it looks i mean i can't actually get over how nice the game actually looks um, he's obviously running through Route 1 there. They, the routes look a little bit bigger as well. I'm, I'm glad they put like more open wilderness in between each town, which is really cool. Hopefully it does, uh, you know, last between each single route and it's quite a lot to explore. Obviously they've taken the inspiration from or the already Kanto game, so obviously it's not going to change loads, but it's cool that they, they look a little bit more open world. Anyway, now he's in, I do believe, a million city. I think that's a million city anyway. I mean, I think he's in Pallet Town at some bit as well. I can't obviously play the footage that much, obviously, because of copyright and stuff like that, because, you know, you know how Pokemon are. Um, but yeah, yeah, so he's in Vermilion City there, I think, uh, which is cool. Um, I'm, oh no, Viridian? It might be Vermilion. Uh, I think it's Viridian actually. I know I just said loads of words there, but I think he's in Viridian here because he does go Pallet Town. He gets Pokemon, he gets, goes Pallet Town, and then he goes to Viridian because that dude that's like, oh, the technology has come a long way is in Pallet Town in the scene. I try and find it, but I, I don't think I can, unfortunately. Oh, wait, here it is. Yeah, so this is Pallet Town. This is the technology dude. The Pallet Town looks a lot bigger as well. Looks like there's more than one house, and this is, unless this is Oak's Lab, which changes a lot to be fair. It's not as big as I remember it being. Anyway, and then it says a new game and now we're going up to it, it might be green i generally have no idea who this person is uh she's picking eevee in the eevee edition and as we can see eevee goes on your head so if you choose the pikachu edition and get pikachu i don't know if they are version exclusive to those games but if you do pick pikachu it goes on your shoulder and if you pick eevee it goes on your head so does that mean that eevee can't evolve in this game because you can't really run around with an espion on your head but to be fair there's only the first 151 pokemon in these games so I guess Espeon and Umbreon aren't available in these games. So it's only going to be between Flareon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon. But maybe you can't even evolve Eevee. And maybe you can't evolve Raichu just like you couldn't in Pokemon Yellow. So we really don't know what's going to happen there. But this looks like it is Pewter City, I do believe. 
I think it is that that's a little like gym icon. So this is Pew City, which is nice. It, it's good that it's showing you like all the different places. This is Vermilion uh, because of the SSM port down here, uh, which is really cool. Look how clean the water look, like looks. I really, really like that. Uh, so we got that and then she's obviously running up there and then for Nintendo Switch, boom. So that's just kind of like a snippet. Now we have Oak. Um, from this scene, he's not really hiding too much. I mean, this is a fat Rattata over there. I don't think that has anything to do with it unless it's like new forms of Pokemon. Uh, but the word already got a load of Rattata, so I don't know why that'd be there. It just kind of looks like... I'm trying to decide what the kind of art style looks like. I mean, it kind of looks like a Sims... An old Sims game, kind of, in some rest, uh, retrospect. But I really don't know. But it, Oak is in the game, and he's like, Hey, I got this Pikachu for you. And this is obviously... I don't know. Maybe maybe you have different cutscenes with your Pokemon. It doesn't look like a game that's going to have a lot of cutscenes, which is awesome. Because I'm a big fan of no cutscenes. I mean... The cutscenes are good as long as you have a skip option. But here's your, your character obviously just shaking like Pikachu's head and stuff like that, which is awesome. And then it goes into the, the Joy-Con bit. So you can play it with just one Joy-Con, which is which such a cool feature about Nintendo Switch that you can play like two player with one Joy-Con. So obviously you just both have a Joy-Con and put the thing on. And obviously there is co-op in this game, which we will get on later on in the video. But anyway, uh, we can see the Pokemon do appear in the overworld. This is the bit just before Viridian Forest, I do believe, just above Viridian City. Um, there's that patch of grass and Pokemon, as you can see, do appear in the overworld. And I think that's a G dude down there and geodude did not appear um in this grass at all so maybe we have new pokemon on different routes don't know if you guys noticed that or not um i think this does mean that you're in co-op play as well because there's like little two things there i don't know why the joy cons over there but I, that to me looks like it's in co-op play because the two little faces but yeah geodude i do believe is there so maybe different pokemon do appear at different points which would be really cool obviously then runs into pidgey and then this is the catching animation and which is great but as you can see this is going to be a huge huge problem um you don't battle wild Pokemon in these games. That's actually been confirmed. You, you don't battle them. Um, it says, get ready, items, help, and run away. So, that's going to cause a lot of problems for me. Like, how are you going to gain experience? Like, what if you're stuck on a gym? Let's say you're stuck on, like, the last gym or the Elite Four and you can't train up anymore because you beat all the trainers. Like, what are you supposed to do then? There has to be different ways to level up um, your Pokemon. Uh, and I really don't know how they're going to do that unless they make rare candies, like, really, really easy to find. Or maybe running around with your Pokemon, get some experience, or something like that. I generally have no idea, but they're going to have to sort something out for this. Because this is going to be a game breaker if you can't actually level up your Pokemon. Because you're pretty much just stuck, aren't you? Unless you get experience for catching Pokemon. But who wants to catch 50 Pidgeys just to get one level? You know, that's just going to be so, so boring. Um, so I'm really, really intrigued to see what they're going to do with that. Right now, I'm a little bit nervous, but the catching animation is cool. Obviously, the catching animation is just throwing the Pokeball like that. Uh, we have the Pokemon Go symbol where it like goes like... Uh, good great excellent kind of thing um which is which is cool uh a lot of people are against the animation like the, the catching animation but you know we'll see what happens i mean these by the way guys this game isn't confirmed to, is is not the main series core rpg this is coming out this year and then the core rpg that we're all expecting was going to be this is coming out next year in 2019 so this is kind of just a filler game um so don't pour your expectations in this game it looks incredible i think this is they're definitely just trying something new they're trying to um kind of jump on that pokemon go you know craze and kind of just create a game surrounded by that uh, but this isn't the core rpg game i think we'll have all of that in the next game but with these kind of graphics so whether that's generation 8 or you know down and pull remakes we really don't know but it's going to be wild either way but then he's just catching stuff this is just all the caching animation stuff don't really need to bother about this but here's the co-op so we have friends so you can do co-op play in this it's not online it's not online co-op play unfortunately it's just like um was it local uh which is still cool i mean it would have been amazing with online hopefully they bring on uh, online for like the next game but maybe they're just kind of like trying to showcase it and see how it goes and obviously if everyone likes it then they'll probably release it to online which would be so so cool uh but yeah we do have the call play in here so call play is a thing in this game um but unfortunately it's just not online it's just local which is like i say how does that work like do you implement your save file into there or you know what happens because like that other person's just going to start with like nothing unless they start with the same team as you i really don't know because he's not even running around with a pikachu is he he's just he's just chilling she's got the Eevee on her head so it's obviously her game but yeah like i say he's not running around with a pikachu so what happens to like the co-op player like what? i don't even know and then obviously they you throw the pokeball at the same time apparently and then it might give you a there's two pokeballs there it gives you like a bare chance of catching it i really don't know but that's really cool um and this is obviously nugget bridge i do believe it kind of looks like nugget bridge that they're running across right now and then they're getting challenged by book catcher so in like the, the what i really love is in the co-op battles is you actually it's like a double battle but you both are like it's like a multi battle you're both kind of choosing what your pokemon wants to do which is really cool i'm a big fan of that and as we can see pikachu and bulbasaur are in this battle which kind of makes me think that hey maybe you do get a starter um at the very start you get to choose from the canto starters and then you get gifted a pikachu or an eevee depending on what version you're playing maybe we'll have to see 
Uh, or maybe the co-op player just starts with one of the Kento stars. Maybe that's how the co-op player works. But the battle animation looks incredible. It, it really reminds me of like the Pokemon Colosseum games and Pokemon XD Gale of Darts and stuff. Because it's just like that 3D um, kind of image with the models and everything like that and it just looks really really nice in my opinion they've really done that the they really outdone themselves in this game in my opinion uh but anyway next up we have just more catching and stuff like that I don't need to bother about that and then we have the um this pokeball thing which is really cool uh now this actually has like yeah you can catch the pokemon in the game and you can take this with you and it actually says like the pokemon noises and stuff in the cries and it's because um the game freak said that they wanted to recreate the idea of a pokemon by your side as much as possible so if, obviously if you get your pokeball out and it's like pika pika you're like oh yeah it's kind of cool because it sounds like i got pikachu in my pocket that's why they did that but that's still really cool i think they've, they've really outdone themselves with that. that's such a cool nifty little feature um next up we have the go park thing that's happening i don't know how this is gonna work i believe it's just gonna be trading pokemon from the switch to your phone or maybe it's gonna be trading your i don't know i mean maybe you send gifts across from your switch to your phone but you can only transfer pokemon from your phone to your switch because they've they confirmed that you're only allowed to trade um, up to the first 151 pokemon to the switch they've already confirmed that so maybe you just get presents if you'd like link them a lot or something like that i really don't know but then it says play this is just loads of screenshots so we have that uh we have you riding an onyx which is awesome i feel like every pokemon in this game because there's only 151 has kind of like different unique features depending on like how big they are and stuff like that so you obviously can ride onyx you can ride lapras uh, you can ride charizard and then obviously you might be able to ride a ponyta or there's so many pokemon that if they are big then you kind of like do different things with them like ride them or whatever uh, obviously pokemon do follow you it looks like a gengar and electrode which is really cool i mean pokemon following you is just something we wanted for for so long really then he's got moltres and pokemon go and then obviously he's appearing in the game catching snorlax wild snorlax is a cool thing that's really cool don't know where this place is it looks like lambda tower which is kind of spooky i really like the design of that it looks really, really nice it's just so nostalgic like think about all these old places we're going to be visiting and obviously we do have customization for even pikachu which again is why i don't believe you you probably won't be able to evolve them in my in my opinion if you've got like character customization for those two pokemon individually would they be able to evolve i really don't know we'll have to see Re team Rain uh, team Ra uh, team rainbow team rocket make a return which is awesome i'm really glad to see that uh he's got a grimer there this looks like silphco maybe or the rocket hideout probably but yeah i really like the fact that pikachu can have clothes and stuff this reminds me of like the pokemon ghost sprite 100 i think they definitely use like a lot of the pokemon ghost sprites um but it just looks look at all these man they just look incredible like that explosion then we have mewtwo as well fight uh, you facing off against mewtwo your first adventure um and then boom pikachu in a new style boom everyone's running and then obviously this bit as well to end off the trailer is um you'll meet a special pokemon um and they've confirmed that this is a brand new pokemon that we've never seen before so i i want to say this is a new evolution but i can't see it happening because like what happens to like Pe like Eevee's clothes and stuff like or do they all just fit on the new evolution i really don't know it just makes sense to have a new evolution for a um for a game surrounded by Eevee. but again this isn't generation 8 i think it's like gen 7.5 um so i really don't know i really don't know maybe it's a new evolution of pikachu we really really don't know but guys i think that's pretty much everything for this trailer obviously if you didn't know they do get released uh on november the 16th 2018 now, i don't know if that is worldwide i hope it's worldwide because i don't want any of that business where europe gets it a week later because that killed me when sun and moon came out uh, but that is the trailer breakdown guys let me know what you guys thought about this trailer did you enjoy it you're a bit annoyed would you like something else because like i say this is just a filler game for the game coming out in 2019 so you know just look forward to that but guys i'm out of time Remember my second channel, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, channel, Discord, and Patreon account will be found in the description down below. That is it, my guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, guys, peace.